Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another EDC tool for you. And today I'm going to show you another pair of Knipex pliers. These are actually the pliers wrench. And they're model number right here on the handle 8603125. 125mm, about 5 inches. Now, these are totally different than the Cobra pliers I showed you previously. And model number on these were 8701125. Again, 125 millimeters is the size. Um, but these are different. They have a different purpose, and I think they're pretty cool. Um, show you the box real fast. This one came in a box. These came in a, a clamshell type of packaging. But you can see the label. This is a model number again, made in Germany, 5 inch pliers wrench. It's got the chrome whatever coating on it. And that's really about all the box says. On the back, there's a warning do not use on live circuits. You don't want to electrocute yourself, right? But yeah, so I picked these up off Amazon because I had these. And I got a chance to use them a few times, and these these are awesome. They're water pump pliers. These have, you know, really sharp teeth, made to grab pipe and stuff like that. And stuff you don't want to, you don't worry about marring up because, believe me, these, these teeth would dig in and mark up a pipe or whatever you're grabbing on. These are called pliers wrench, or wrench pliers, however you want to say it. These work like an adjustable wrench. Got flat jaws, so they're not going to mar up the nuts, the bolts, or whatever. And, yeah, I mean, these, these take the place of a pair of adjustable, you know, wrench, like... Like this. In fact, open that up all the way. Open this up. This is a six inch pair. No name brand, cheap um, set of, you know, adjustable wrench that came out of one of those cheap auto tool kits, emergency kits. But these are five inches. This is six inch. And you can see they open up just about the same. The, the jaw is about the same size, but you can see how much thinner the knippics are. So you can really get into some tight spaces. Because um, these are quite thick. I don't know how thick they are. Just out of curiosity. Zero it out. The head of this is about... Oh... Almost half an inch, 0 0.4 up here by the tip. Back here, the widest spot, pushing about 0 0.48, almost half an inch. And these are really thin. These are 0 0.122 up towards the tip. And guess that their widest spot would probably be. I'm going to include the button here, so 0 0.46, oh, uh, I had 4.6, don't want to squeeze that, okay, 0 0.48, so overall, they're about the same thickness, but the jaws, the head of it is a lot thinner, as you can see, and these are pretty cool. So they work like adjustable hair pliers. You don't have the, the thumb wheel. You have the button like on the Cobras. Slide adjust them. There's 11 different teeth on here. 11 different positions. These have 13. Self-locking. You move it. It'll lock in. Like that. And... 
But the good thing about these is when you're gripping on a, a nut, they are putting, you put pressure on the flats, on the flats of the nuts. You're using a adjustable wrench. It's really, you're putting all the pressure right on two corners of the nut. And you know you got to take these off. Usually have to readjust it after a while. Take it off, turn it, all that stuff. And like I said, they tend to loosen up on you, so you have to keep readjusting or hold on the wheel. And, you know, these things slip off, all that good stuff, you know. I smashed my knuckles more using a pair of these than an open end box end wrench, pair of channel locks, anything like that. These things are a knuckle buster, and you have to do this one way. So, if you're going to tighten, you have to have this this way. Or else you're putting pressure on the wrong spot on this. And if you're loosening, you have to turn it, flip it over to do it. They, they serve a purpose. A lot of people carry, carry um, a small pair of adjustable wrenches. I did for a while. I carried... A little four inch pair. And these opened about, I don't know, half an inch. These were open up to fully seven eighths of an inch. So a lot more use out of these than this. These are not that much bigger overall. Definitely smaller than a six inch pair. A lot lighter but yeah you know for that stuff um like i said very slim profile head on these the jaws are parallel no matter how you how wide open or close you you put it and also doesn't matter where you move the handles these things stay parallel they stay right on the flats of the nut or bolt they um what's unique about this is you have this cam action here this little lever action so you can put it on something tighten it up loosen it let me try to tighten this up enough to so you don't have to take these off reposition them these things ratchet around like so. I'm just turning it. I'm turning the whole thing in my hand, but you get the gist. So it ratchets around. It's supposed to be like a 10 to 1 ratio. So you got some, as hard as you squeeze, it's squeezing the nut 10 times. This is the way I take it. I'm not 100% positive on that. But let me tell you, you grip on something, even though it doesn't have teeth in the jaws like the Cobras, it is very hard for these things to slip off. And, um, let's see if I can demonstrate this a little better. So, yeah, you can tighten, just like... Let me get a grip on here. I might have just these. Hold on. That's m more butter. But yeah. See how you can ratchet around. Tighten it down. Actually, I turned it in the pliers there. You can actually, you don't even have to turn it. Flip it or anything to loosen. You can go this way. Doesn't ratchet as good, but like that. And if you're using a pair of these, you really have to do the same thing, adjust it. You can slide these around, especially if you use these a lot. 
you get the feel for it like such but you can see the jaws are not even or parallel the wider you open it the further out of parallel they become so yeah you, you can see it's not working like these these are completely different just like so loosen it up so I have lock washers in there so I could tighten it but yeah get those out of the way and I'll keep these out but yeah these are the Knipex pliers wrench right here it says seven eighths that's the opening as wide as they go you get on a seven eighths nut bolt but yeah I thought these were pretty cool I was EDC in this pair and came in pretty handy a couple of times at work and around the house a little bit a couple of times and I really liked them but you use these on a nut bolt something soft you don't you know you don't want to mar up get teeth marks in it um that's where these come in play these i tell you these teeth on here are sharp and they're pretty rugged no matter how you put it on you can see i got some marks on there but hasn't damaged the teeth at all it's just like the, the coating came off a little bit but these will mark up something dig it up these will not so these are pretty nice um, take a look at these bigger ones you can see how the sides are damaged that's because you're holding that into the corners of what you know the nut or bolt you're loosening and tightening and again no matter how you open these the jaws each side stays parallel so like I said, a little bit too far. You are totally gripping on the whole flats. And the more pressure you put on, the tighter this thing becomes. Yeah, so if you're in the, you want to EDC a pair of pliers, you can definitely, I definitely recommend the Cobra water pump pliers. But you want, if you want to carry you've been carrying a little adjustable wrench or something I'd suggest putting those back in your toolbox getting a pair of these 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 have been pretty awesome I've I've used it on little little hex head bolts like 440 size thread pinch right on there loosen it up I've done it this, this is another thing that actually works. I know a lot of times you end up trying to, can't get on something flat. You're always putting it on like this. Um, not, you know, that flat down on it, but up like this or whatever to get to it. These things, the way they lock on, they're not going to slip off. Now like a pair of adjustable wrench there. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. So, I've actually been carrying both of these. And in another video, I'll show you how I've been carrying these. I've carried these a couple of different ways. And um, try and find the best way to carry both. They're not heavy. Um, but they carry fine, just like they are. You know, loose in your back pocket. <clears throat> it's no big deal. These don't open up as far as, say, these. You got these in your pocket. See how far the handles open up. They always get, you know, kind of wedged in your back pocket. You got to fight to get them out. These don't open half, you know, nearly as far. So, but they do get kind of tangled up if you carry them loose. So the weight of these is 
probably a little over three ounces. 3.6. These ones feel a little heavier actually, but I don't know. Three ounces. Heck, these are lighter. Yeah. I don't know. Just feeling them in hand. The Cobra pliers feel a little bit heavier. But that's what they are. Three ounces for that one. These are 3.6. You know, I got a couple of knives that kind of almost weigh as much as both of these. But yeah, like I said, another video I'll show you how I've been carrying these. Um, I think I got a system figured out. But I'll save that for another different video. We got a few more to do. But yeah, the Knipex pliers wrench again 8603125 they open up to seven eighths of an inch you got 11 position adjustment low profile or self-locking you get it in a spot you, you know if you're not in there they lock that clicks in place um they ratchet around pretty good so you don't have to pull them off, put them back on. Smooth jaws so they ain't marring up everything. And again, like I said, no matter how you open or close, these things are parallel. They are, what I do with my nut and bolt, they're literally gripping on to the whole flat of the nut or bolt. And that the, they're not just pushing against the corners. I guess I'll try this one. They're not pushing around like that. You see the gap on the sides. Totally just sign those two corners. These are completely using both sides fully. And the more harder you squeeze, the harder that grip sign. So yeah, I guess that's it. Just a little overview of these. Um, there's a lot of videos out there that go in more detail, a lot more testing demonstration but yeah you can check those videos out but yeah i highly recommend these two tools whether you want to edc them or you want them for your tool kit keeping a car your four-wheeler you know um dirt bike whatever i wouldn't suggest these for you know a bicycle when you're riding bikes like I used to all the time, you don't want an extra six ounces hanging off your in your little saddle bag on the back of your seat. But yeah, pretty awesome pair of pliers here. I, I'm really digging them, getting good use out of them. And I guess that's it for this video. I highly recommend these, both, both pairs, both types. And as usual, you like these videos, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and until next video, bye.